Oh yay, welcome back. So this video will be sharing about something very interesting which is related to recently there's a game set very popular right now which is Fall Guys, right? So um, I'm going to share share with you guys on how to actually doing this obstacle, okay? So this is the obstacle that later on I will be sharing with you guys. Actually, it's very easy to do it, okay? But if you actually understand this concept, you should actually knowing how to do this obstacle as well, okay? Okay, let us go to our workshops okay so i did actually modeling a character that's i already do the moving side really okay so character movement really so i did prepare an obstacle which actually having a statics handle and there's a moving handle it's a separate object so later on when we actually rotate this okay it actually can easily to handle okay so okay so currently what i have right now is i actually can move around i can actually move around with this guy okay yep okay so later we are going to do this obstacle very easy okay so you can go to obstacle um to actually make sure this moving handle will be moved later on we require some physics things in here Okay, firstly, I will just add a box collider to it, so it detected as a solid object. Okay, so later on, I'm not going to animate this thing. I'm going to use physics to actually make it automatically move. Okay, so I will actually add a component called hinge joint. Okay, so with this hinge joint, and then it will actually automatically move later on. So when we actually after we adding this hinge joint component, there's a rigid body component added inside as well. Okay. So right now, if you look down into this hinge joint component, okay, there's a motor in here that you can actually use. So you have to take use motor. Okay. You know. Right now, you just take use motor. Okay, probably you can add a force. Okay, so let's see what happened. Nothing happened because of target velocity. We still have to add some value to it, so this thing only can move. So when you add it, yes, it just move it by itself. That's easy, right? Okay. So when I move to there, then I jump. Yes. Okay. So that's all about this um things to make it move, and especially it's very really important when you actually setting up your three D model as well for this um pivot point in when you trying to export from your 3D software. Okay, so because it will accordingly to this, if you click here, you will saw this hinge join. So it's actually accordingly with your pre-work point. Yep. So that's all about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, like, share, and subscribe me. Thank you.